right, here's a 1955 Ford Thunderbird. Just came into Unique Specialty and Classics, now available to purchase. This vehicle is quite stocked to how it would have been when it came off the showroom floor back in 1955 from Ford. It is originally a Raven black car, and as you can see, still is. Also has a black and white interior in it, which it originally would have came with. You can tell that from the data tag and the cowl, which uh, would have an A code for Raven Black as well as an A code for the black and white interior. This particular car is powered by the 292 underneath the hood, which was the only V8 that you could get in 1955. That's paired with a three speed transmission as well as power steering underneath there. This paint, I don't know if I'd necessarily call it original, but it is an older paint. You can see areas where it's checking. There's some blemishes in it. Uh, not perfect by any means, but as far as still showing nice, absolutely. Um, I'd call it a driver. It's not a trailer queen by any means. But a nice driver. Won't have to worry about getting a little nicker or rock chip in it. You can see the bright work. It does also have some blemishes in it. But again, overall, nice 55. T-Bird. You want to check out the still pictures so you can see the underside, engine bay, interior. Check out the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. I have the hard top on it here for the video so you can see what it looks like with the hard top on it. I want to show you the, the headliner and everything in it, how nice a shape it was in. You can check out those still pictures. Again, uniqueclassiccars.com, and you'll see... Pictures of the top off. You see pictures of the fender skirts on and off. So you can kind of check it out every which way. This car does not have the soft top with it. There's also a little bit of checking I noticed in the top back here. Sometimes, it, there you go. Sometimes that light stuff's tough to get to show up on the videos. But just trying to give you the honest opinion of this car. Again, the black does have a decent luster to it. Don't get me wrong. It's still... A cool car will turn some heads. Taken to your local cruise ends. Just out for that Sunday cruise. See the exhaust exiting through the bumpers back there where it would have came from in 55. The car has a great sound to it. See it's pretty darn straight too. You look up and down the side of this thing. It's, uh, it's a straight car. Like I said, quite solid. If you have any questions, you want to know something particular about this car, feel free to call us too. 507-386-1726. Uh, just so you know, we can assist with transportation throughout the country also. Do it each and every day. Financing is available. And we do consider trade. So if you got something you may want to trade. My little spot back here, I was going to show some checking the paint if I can get it to show up. So you can see it's got a decent luster to it, but there's some checking right there above the Love that fender skirt. So it's riding on the wide whites. Look great on a black and white T-Bird. I'm gonna start this up. I'll show you how easily this car starts and runs. The odometer reads we like 57,000, which on this car, it wouldn't surprise me. You look at the dash on it, all appears to be original. I don't know if these seats have ever been redone. To me, those look like they're original. Tough to say. The owner of this one bought this car this way to enjoy it. Didn't have a lot of back history on the car. But a slip around here. Looks like a nice little rumble of that 292 V8 underneath the hood. Car sounds great. The car did have the engine uh, rebuilt and gone through in 2000. There's some more recent uh, receipts like the starter points, some tune up stuff. Uh, in 2012, 13, 14, in that range, there's a little booklet of receipts that go with this car. But again, you can see the door cards and everything appear to be original in it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video. We'll pop that hood so you can check out the engine bay also. Alright, take a look under the hood here. The 292 V8 power steering. You can see that uh, we also have six volt system still in there, eight volt battery added, which just makes it a lot easier to start. Otherwise everything still works just like a six volt underneath there. Again this engine was gone through in 2000. I'm guessing not a lot of miles put on since then. Judging by how smooth it runs, how nice it looks. 
very tidy stock engine bay, which you'd expect on a 55 T-Bird. Slip around to the other side. There you can see the paint's got a nice luster to it. There's some blemishes and what have you. Again, listen to that thing her. Very nice running engine. Again, check out any of those still picks. Unique classiccars.com or of course call us feel free to give us a buzz let us know if you'd like to uh, make an offer on this if you'd like to know about transportation to where you're at and again we do consider trades financing is available 1955 Ford Thunderbird Raven Black with black and black and white interior give us a call